Like, Hit him twice with one shot. 13 years old. Here's a go over here. Look at um, those nice tanks. What? You're stealing all the circles. Yeah, he explodes the circles and then I steal them. That's a decent color yeah, scheme. Yeah, you got napalm bomb. It's 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 Sonic and Tails color scheme. And Mega Man. I have not heard of Zone sixty six. I don't think I have either. Napalm beats Stone. Welcome to the most boring stage in the game, probably. At some point, I want Shin to play. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Part two. Why part two? Why not part one? Uh, I'd be fine with you playing part one as well. It's just I've nostalgia. Been told that, no, I've been told that the first one is what the, made Bioware great. Yeah, I've been told the story in the first one is oh, no. good, but that some of the other qualities of the first game did what? not age as well as the second game did. These met. I think these are actually called Metal Mommy. <laughs> I think that's actually their name. <laughs> the, um... At, for example, though, typically what most people remember in their nostalgic ages are things that they play between the ages of seven and the ages of nine, from what I understand. That's usually what your nostalgia is really, really sensitive to. <laughs> He's safe forever. Um... In that time frame, the things I can remember are um, watching my cousin play Metal Gear Solid, the original, um, Final Fantasy VII. Um, I grew up with Mega Man eggs. I do remember a lot of Kirby Superstar. Well, of course! Um... There are like a lot of things though that I remember that are from that time, which goes back to what I've heard of that—that that age seven and nine is usually the stuff that you become nostalgic for later in life. Oh well, yes. But my favorite generation of games is from before I was seven, the SNES. I love 16-bit. However, the N64, which came out when I was a yeah. kid and was the system I had, is the worst aging console that I've ever seen. There are like oh, seven, maybe seven games that have aged decently because the graphics were good enough at the time that they came out Mischief that makers? they were good. Mischief Makers was okay because it approached graphics in a slightly different way. Because it didn't go all the polygons. Yeah, it didn't try to do polygon heavy quite so much. But like, oh hey, there's third man. But like Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie, and DK64 all aged well enough because they were all created so late in the game cycle that they'd gotten better grasps on how to handle polygons and how to save space on the disc. By making the things but go away. Mario 64, I despise. I respect it for <laughs> being. I respect it for being important to the history of games. I hate it. I don't like it at all. I don't. I, I despise it. It's awful. Um. <laughs> I oh, oh, had look, no... Look, look, there's an orange. Despite the fact that I like Twilight Princess, I have no real particular appreciation for any of the 3D Zelda games on the 64, even though Well, they're... Twilight Princess wasn't on the 64. I know, but it is important. Oh, four? Yeah, it is referentially considered, you know, the best game of all time, Ocarina of Time, everyone obsesses over. Um, Twilight Princess draws very heavily from it. Um, but I didn't really have any interest in either of the N64 Zelda games. I, didn't, I don't care much for 3D Zelda. I don't mind 3D Zelda. I prefer top-down Zelda. Um, that's one we would have to stream is, uh, uh a, link, a Link to the Past, because well, I have never experienced A Link to the Past. I've n oh, A Link to the Past. I, was... I am blind to A Link to the Past, except I... the Chris Houlihan room. <laughs> that is literally the only thing I know about A Link to the Past. Oh, whatever. It's just a one man. Um, you probably have to use, like, Gyro Man's thing or something. Like... Hero Man? Hur Hurricane's back to you. That's what it's called. Boomerang's it back to you. It can't boomerang. It can only go up or down after oh. you shoot. That's fair. Those games were pioneers and important milestones, but generally control the crap. Yeah, that's like, um... Meanwhile, on the other side of things, uh, I didn't own a PlayStation until I was older. I love the Spyro games, even though some of them are a little bit bad on the controls. I consider them much better, and I feel like they aged much better than those other games. Even though coming out around a similar time. Uh! Um, 
Kirby 64 aged well because it's specifically designed with pretty minimalistic graphics. Um, Whatever. Screw you, E-Tank. I have enough of you. Let's see. What? Hi, we... Eddie. God damn it, Eddie! <laughs> You're worthless! Um, I only played Pokemon Stadium for one single thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see here. I don't like Mario 64 because of his control. There's more things I don't like about Mario 64. He doesn't like anything about it. I there. don't really like Mario 3D games or any of them that are not short level based because I don't feel like the composers for Mario games <laughs> make as good of music as other companies that have widespread levels. This level is really long. I still would you would you agree with me on that? Uh, I mean the music. Yeah. Uh, I think the Mario is super. Ah oh, man, I missed the Mega Man letter. There's only one level that I like music from in Mario, and it's the music you typically like the least because you don't like water levels. Da, 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 no. You, oh, I guess that that everybody oh, no. liked that the least. Um, All right, so this is Stone the, Man. He's, he's yeah, you're gonna scary. die very quickly. Look, he can jump. Um, but. He's Shin, invincible, he falls Shin apart. historically does not like water levels. He does not like their music. He does not like uh, their design very often. I don't mind the Mario 64 water music. Yeah, I like Mario 64 water music a lot. Look how scary this guy is. Um, I like... Um, I have a huge spot in my heart for aquatic ambience. My favorite song, though, from 2 is Mining Mer Melancholy, if we're talking Donkey Kong Country. The Mining Melancholy is a really freaking good song. It hurts you. Um, it's been forever since I played the 3D Mario game. Uh, the only 3D Mario I beat you without getting hit! Impressive. Because you no, had no. exactly one bar of yep, health. I mean, no, no, Stone Man's just kind of a joke. Mm. He doesn't really use his move much. He just likes to jump around happily and die. And then fall down. <laughs> Um, Mario Odyssey was good, I think. It was, it was good. I really would love to do the Paper Mario games on the channel as the only quote unquote 3D Mario. Oh, Power games. Stone! One of the worst p powers of all time. It's just because you can't hit anything with it. What's it do? It makes like orbiting stones fly out around you. I'll oh. show it to you. It's. You yeah. gotta go back to that level for the letter. Maybe. I mean, it's not. You unlock beat. Yeah, but get it. I don't know where it is. We'll get it. But it's the longest level. Yeah, but you can start select out of it. Oh, and Mega Man for the Game Gear? Oh, yeah, I saw... Oh, hey, Super Max! Yeah, Super Max, the other one who's been talking. He's the one who asked about the oh. life. Yeah, I saw... So Ra far, we've seen four lives Ra drop... Was... Let me answer his question first. So far, we've seen four lives drop from enemies in the five levels we've played. This is Power Stone. It doesn't look awful, does it? No. It just can't hit anything. Let me guess, they're randomized too, so they never are in the same I don't spot. think they are, it's just... It's like it's perfectly aimed to miss whatever you're going for, it's weird. But yeah, in Game Gear, I saw Raokou just have the worst time against Stoneman, because he just spams the hell out of Power Stone. Like, shooting more before one's off screen. The Game Gear game was atrocious. So where's the letter? Oh, hey. It's probably through that one wall. Nothing there. What wall? There are a lot of walls. All of them. I know there are, there are a lot, several secret walls in this stage, but... I tried to go through all the walls. Like that wall down there, It's all, there's obviously a secret here. Sidekick. So Do it. I, oh, oh, I have to shoot the wall! You found it! I think I have to beat the stage still. No. Um, or game over. How many lives do I have? Oh, damn it! Don't game over. Let's see, um, other older games that I feel aged well enough Shin may disagree with me on. Um, <laughs> there's another extra life. So five for the five and a half levels we've done. Um, I feel Super Mario World aged, but I think part of that is because it has the best level editor of any game ever, even if it wasn't made by the company that made the game. It's better than Smash Bros. 4's level editor. Everything's better than Smash Bros. 4, or not 4, Brawl. 
Tails hates many things. I hate Brawl. What's really odd is I'm very mad that they removed what the creator called a joke character. I'm neutral. If they would just put Pichu in as a costume for Pikachu, I'd be thrilled. That's not the only reason I don't like them. I it's don't the like how reason. much they slowed it down is a really big thing. Because I always played really, like, spastically quick type style. And so when it slows down, it's easier for people to predict what you're doing. And it doesn't work as well as a strategy. This level's pretty hard. In all honesty, though, the biggest thing that ruins Smash for me is tournament-obsessed people. <sighs> yeah. Because when that everyone might. tells you that, like, um, that you just can't have that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, um... A dog! Oh, there it is. I guess you need a dog. Um... Fair enough. People tell... Because here's the thing. God. I If I'm playing Smash, I'm playing to have fun. Half the time I don't even pay attention to who wins because I'm much more interested Pika! in... I'm much more interested in the ridiculous physics that can happen from modifying the, like... Jigglu! <laughs> yeah. Might act negatively with Vulpix. <laughs> That's what it stands for, yeah. In some ways, Yeah, Max, I did it! Yeah. In some ways, that's true, Max, but there are pretty nice tools that can work alongside it pretty harmoniously. Um, I've made a vanilla-styled hack that was not. Yeah, I hate vanilla hacks. Well, I just... I, they I like... I like... Vanilla hacks, Thank but you, not, Eddie! I like Only vanilla I hacks, wanted. but the vanilla hacks are not the same as what people are now calling water hacks, which is where you don't change anything and you're just using the basics. Um, vanilla now means that you can tweak the graphics and things like that, you just can't add ASM. Yeah, and the ASM, I think, you make interesting things is that no one ever does it well. Yeah. Which... Well, no, it's not no one ever does it well. It's that people... Make Toho. Do weird things with it a lot. And make Toho. Yeah, there's a lot of Toho. Because the fandom overlaps really heavily. I wonder if Stone Man came back. Nope. nope. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> we're just like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. Um, Do you know what Stone Beats? Wait. <laughs> Might act negatively with Vulpix. Yeah. <laughs> um, Actually, there's a G there now. So yeah, it's... now it's Mangv. Mgamv. Oh, yeah. It's Mgamv. Trains are weak against a stone. Yeah, I mean, look at him. He's a train. Yeah, he's James the Train, stuck on some shoulders. He's actually the most, di probably the most difficult robot master in the game. He's. Ooh, I like the background. I like the music actually. One of the few tracks in this game I like. Um, I but I think you'll like on the stage. on the other side of things. What? Well, whatever. I just picked up that bomb. I guess. But that's that's why they've now oh. just oh, deemed. Right. Oh God! Where would all you guys come from? Help! Um. That's why some communities have deemed what is real vanilla as well, water. Because... I'm on a train now, and the Mets are also on trains on this train. Um, I think there's a train in the background. Stage! It's a nice atmosphere, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, that's why other people called them water. Because here's the thing, and Rauka even kind of fairly describes Head. it. Rauka even kind of fairly describes it in one of his videos. Vanilla does have a flavor. That's true. It's not bad for When you. people call something vanilla, it's kind of a misnomer because vanilla Oh, God! <laughs> He's so excited! Vanilla ice cream is not milk in a cup that is really cold. It is milk in a cup with vanilla bean flavoring added. You see how the screen sort of shudders a bit? Yeah, it I think we're shifts. actually on a train. Uh oh. Is it? Yeah, we are. I don't know how. Yeah, you're but... inside of a train. Um... Oh god, the eggs can jump! But yeah, I like VLDC Vanilla. The only thing is I've come to have some opinions about SMWC. <laughs> um, I do not hate SMWC. Oh, really? I hate People. certain aspects and mimetic concepts that have gone into SMWC. Um... Part of that is that I was juvenile when I went to the site, and I have some kind of juvenile leanings that probably just 
don't go away is part of it. I will not say that I am completely innocent in whatever is happening. Where's the... Um... But, um... Yeah, it's not that bad of a I spot. feel like... McGanv! <laughs> I feel like there's a little bit too much pretension in the SMWC page. Or there was. I don't know how it is now, because I haven't been there in a long time. 